Hey, welcome back to the channel, man. Go ahead, like this video, comment, let me know where y'all from. Are you rocking with Young Dolph, who you a fan of? Let's get right into it, man. So they just got done cleaning up the whole entire scene of everything that happened to Moneybag Yo last night and his artist, Trip Star, and his cousins and everybody that's involved. Condolences to everybody that's affected by the situation. You know, RIP. Also, I want to send an RIP to Young Dolph. Comment down the emojis with the dolphins if you actually rocking with Young Dolph. So with this whole entire thing, now they taking in trip star the cmg money bag yo artist in for questioning because they want to know if this was something related to the retaliation of all the street beef that's been going on with cmg and they want to know if the dude knows yo Gotti's baby mama if any of the people that they actually saw running up on them if they can recognize them because they looking right now it's a manhunt they looking for two other dudes man one of the dudes got sent up. He was still right there. They did a citizen's arrest and pinned him down right there in that front porch VIP area of the restaurant. But because there was no security that night in the restaurant, it was basically a free for all on anybody. So anybody could have came up and wanted to smoke and it would have happened. It would have went down and it really did go down like that. And, you know, Moneybag Yo was lucky to make it out of the situation, man. He It would have been just a hair shy this way, that way. But Tripstar was already on point because he knew that Black Youngster was going to be coming back into town. He knew that it was already going to be a Rico for CMG. He already found out about how Govan got released and that it was already people riding around all through Memphis looking for Govan or anybody from CMG so they could really tell him how they felt about Govan setting up the whole Young Dolph thing because since that's what's being reported, since what we hear and what they're saying is, is the fact that he was the mastermind of this whole entire Young Dolph operation then it makes sense that people was looking for him and they were out to get him. They were after him, really following everybody. If As soon as they started seeing Moneybag Yo and them pulling out because uh, Moneybag Yo's private drive where his mansion is right next to Yo Gotti's dad's, when they pull out of that private drive, nobody really sees them until they hit that main road. So when they seen the fleet of cars coming down that main road and the leading vehicle was that Rolls Royce truck with the Maybach right behind it and the, and the Range Rover, they knew exactly who it was because all these dudes already follow Moneybag Yo's artist on Instagram from them going to high school with them back in Memphis. Um, everybody grew up with each other. That's why I keep saying, and everybody keeps saying that, even though it's a small town, Memphis is a small town, but everybody knows everybody. So whenever you see somebody that you remember from them and now they riding around with money bag, yo, of course somebody tipped them off, man, because it's still money being spread around in the streets. Like if they could put money on Dolph's head, then somebody could put money on figuring out where the people that did it to Dolph are and where they going and just get an information like that. Because the same way how somebody had to figure out where young Dolph was going to, to go into that Makita's cookie shop. That's the same way that somebody found out that money bag yo and his artist was eating at that restaurant. Plus, that's not the only time that something happened at, uh, at the restaurant this year. Just not too long ago, you had the situation go down at Privé where Yo Gotti's cousin got sent up. And now just fast forward, they really try to get money bag yo and all of his artists. Like if it, if they would have if it would have went down and they had it the way that they wanted, if they would have had it their way, it would have been no more BGE after yesterday. It would have been a very, very sad situation where Yo Gotti might have had to flew out to New York to get Jay-Z because they really just would have lost a lot of assets there. And the fact that he's somebody's supposed to be buying CMG to invest in with Jay-Z. And they rushed a couple of the CMG guys to the hospital because the fragments and the ricochet is really what got them, even though they didn't get aimed at or nothing like that. But the fact that they were in the spot that they were and everything was bouncing around, hitting off the metal and angling over to them. And that's why the fragments and the debris is really what made it to where they had to go get checked out. And while they were doing that, they pulled Tripstar to the side and Moneybag Yo to the side because they really wanted the feds to question them about the whole incident. And that's the first time that somebody from CMG who actually didn't have to go into the station like Big Jook just came face to face with the people that's doing the actual Rico on them. And so this is crazy because this they trying to help money bag yo and all of them out in this situation because they just seen them get sprayed down eating in front of the restaurant like people folks can't really even go eat no more the safest way to do that is to basically get the get all your groceries and cook the food at home and even then you still got to have 
when it, you still got to have a private chef or he should have had the private chef go get the food and come back. But that still could be followed because just like how Lil Wayne's chef exposed his location and everything where he was at to his ops and he had to fire her for that. And so this is why they shouldn't be going out to eat at the restaurants because they trying to catch money bag yo and yo Gotti slipping and lacking at the restaurant just the same way that the folks did young Dolph. The two dudes who went and ran back to that two seater with that Bentley driving right in front. And, and then two weeks later, they released the, the footage of the actual whole picture of that moment when you can actually see the black Bentley going by. That's how they knew that it belonged to CMG because they seen the color of it and it matched up an exact replica to the one that they gifted to Moneybag Yo Baby Mama way back in the beginning when they when that car was brand new. When it was brand new off the lot, they quickly went and took it to one of his girlfriends and little did they know that the Instagram videos was still up. So the feds had a heyday when they matched that up and it came back on the recognition as a 99.9% .9 match. And there's nothing that they could do about it because they already got caught red handed. They tried to get rid of it and take it to the warehouse in Atlanta when Moneybag Yo moved and he had everything put up on that moving truck and literally had the 18 wheeler come and take all of his exotic cars and, and took it. They even went around. They even went around South Memphis and came and left town out the east side to go to Atlanta because they knew that if Moneybag Yo's cars, if they seen all them cars driving right there through South Memphis, then a lot of the people that was actually riding for Dolph would have seen that and took off right after him. And so really now it's a situation where they look at it like Moneybag Yo and Yo Gotti is almost like banned from Memphis due to the fact that something keeps happening to everybody around him. Whether it was Yo Gotti's own restaurant and his cousin, Moneybag Yo's artist, Black Youngster, Govan, no matter who it is, everybody that's tied, connected, related in some sort of way, working and connected with CMG is one by one getting picked off in random ways, man. Whether it's naturally happening, whether the streets are getting them, whether they getting subpoenaed for the Fed Rico like Big Jook did, or whether they telling and getting sent into witness protection. Because if you tell on somebody like that on the Rico, then they definitely going to put them in witness protection, just like how they did to Takashi. And so that's exactly what's going on. That's why people haven't seen Big Jook. That's why they haven't found Govan yet is because he's in protection right now in custody, just like how they did to Young Dolph's brother because he's seen everything go on. And so right now is Young Dolph's brother's word versus Big Jook's word and Govan's word. And since they got more people on the CMG side that was telling and only one person from Young Dolph's side, his brother actually seen what happened or was allegedly inside of that uh, cookie shop, everything alleged, you know, entertainment purposes. But at the end of the day, what people got to understand is that it's a revolving door situation and you just got to open your eyes and really look at the facts of what's actually going on in the streets of Memphis, because at this point, Everybody that's out there in Dolphland knows who, who, what, when, where, and why, how it all happened. But it's the fact that they still haven't seen Dolph actually walk in under his own power into that cookie shop. Until we see that and we see the replay of everything that went on in that front parking lot there and at the Ruth Chris and at the Benny Hanna's, then we ain't going to know everything because right now they we, we going off of what happened at the gas station and they debunked that and figured out that that wasn't even the same day. How they going to try to convince everybody that Dolph was wearing the same clothes for two to three days in a row? That don't make sense. He's got a mansion with two point three million dollars worth of all designer that he could pick and choose from. So there's no reason for him to be in his own city where his mansion is at, where he's got his entire wardrobe and everything about to shoot a music video. And they try to tell you that the footage of him at the gas station was the same day when the lady who took that footage and seen the people taking it from the gas station said that that wasn't even the same day. She wrote it right there on Facebook for everybody to see. And so what's really going on is the fact that people need to subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment down below. I'm going to catch them later.